In this video, we're going to be looking at the tile set, uh, especially the auto tiler in Godot. Hopefully the previous video's audio was fine. I think I fixed it here and fixed some of the noise gating that may have cut my voice off at certain points or made it difficult to hear. So let's hope this is working. I am denied about how to do this one for a bit because this here is the tile set that I want to use. However, it's not the best at, a, at giving an example of how the auto tiling works in Godot. I'll be able to use auto tiling with it, um, but it's not the best example. So instead, I have no idea where I just put that. Uh, we'll find it later. Um, instead, we're going to use this one. Okay, this is a very boring tile set, but it will demonstrate how to use the auto tiling. So we're gonna bring uh, a tile set. I'm just gonna delete this and create it again. So I'll delete that node. We're gonna to add to our world. So I click on world and we're gonna add in a tile map. And we're gonna add in a new tile set resource and then click on it. And that will open this up down the bottom here. Now we may have to play around with the tile size shortly. Um, we are going to need a physics layer. So we're gonna add in a physics layer. And we're gonna need a terrain set over here. We're gonna add a terrain set. And this, if we click on terrains, we're gonna add an element. And this element is just gonna be called, I'll just call it, I'll just call it the matrix. That's what it looks like, the yeah, matrix. And we're gonna make this just a, re, a color that's gonna really stand out on that green. So I'm gonna make it like a, uh, a bright cyan color here. Okay, that'll do, oops. Okay, so we're ready to go. We just need to bring our tile set into here. I do not want to automatically create tiles. I think th these are 32 by 32. So we can go 32, 32 in here, and that's all good. Now this process here is a little bit convoluted and there's potential to really kind of mess up. So what we're gonna do is take it kind of slowly. We wanna make sure we're in the tile set panel down here. It's not obvious that these are panels. There's a whole lot of panels down the bottom here, which is animation, shader, editor, tile set, etc. Um, and if we're clicking on a node that has one of these panels to it, it will switch to it. So we've got tile map and tile set. And this is where we set up our tile set. So this has 32 by 32 tiles. Well, it means we want to change this up here to 32 by 32 as well, but it won't matter for setting things up. And we just want to set up the tiles here. So the tiles that we're going to use in this particular tile set. So I'm just going to paint them all. There we go. Then I'm going to go over to select and select all of these. Oops. Including these ones down here. Ah, there we go. That's how I do it. Just drag from there to there. Okay, and I'm going to select uh, paint. Select the property editor. We're going to terrains. Terrain set zero. The matrix. Okay, I'm just going to select everything here. Now you'll see when I do it to the other one that I won't select everything. Now, why is that one not selected? That's interesting. So let's just go back. Right, set up. That one should be selected. All right, so we go back. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so once we've done that, what we've got here is this is set up to be match corners. This is quite a, a detailed uh, auto tile set. And what I'm going to do is usually with the tile set, there'll be an area that the player doesn't touch. That's how I think of it. Um, it's the interlocking parts, the inside parts. The player is going to be walking on this outside bit here but they're not gonna be able to touch this bit. And this is gonna be like the parts that connect together. So in this one, it's quite easy because all the dark green, the player shouldn't be able to walk on. And that's how it's gonna connect in terms of puzzle pieces. Whoops, we think of this like a puzzle. And we're just telling it how it connects up. So this one here is an isolated one. If there's a block all by itself, this is the texture that it will get. Um, and what this is doing is really just telling it how to connect to the other blocks. So this block here could connect to this block over here, perhaps. Um, but it couldn't connect to this one because 
there's two blocks here and there's one block here. There would have to be something in between. So while I've done all that, and then I'll go to tile map and I'll go to terrains and click the matrix. Now this is the one we want. We don't want one, we don't want to click on one of these. Uh, you want this one here. And if I go into the world, you can see that I can paint the terrain. And as I paint it, it will update it with what it's meant to look like. Now, this isn't the most detailed one because there would be some that actually have this kind of tile as well. So when you get tile sets like this, you could kind of limit yourself to maybe um, shapes like, like that. Okay, so we have kind of solid blocks, walls coming off it, and that's all right. But if I was to try and do something a bit more complex like that, you can see that it starts to, to bug out a little bit, especially here, because it doesn't know what that block should be. There's no, there's no matching tile for it in the terrain. Uh, there's nothing here that it could be, um, so it just doesn't do it. So that's how the auto tiles work. Uh, let's do it with the actual one. Now, I don't know where I actually put it, so I have to find it. It's in one of these scenes somewhere. I probably put it, oh, there it is, tile set. I put it down the bottom. There we go. I'm going to just delete this. I'll use the, um, I'll just delete the whole tile map and we'll start from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and create a tile map. And we'll create a new tile set resource and we'll click on it. Now I'm not sure of what the uh, size is. So let's go ahead and go tile set. No. It does look like it's picked up the right thing, 16 by 16. And everything is, yep, so that's 16 by 16. And I need to go to setup, 16 by 16, that's good. And I just need to select these tiles. But I don't want to select all of them. So, oops, I can use the eraser here. I'm going to erase all those. Okay. So I'm going to have to turn that off and just select the ones that I want. Oops, I accidentally selected one there that I didn't want. Um, we'll just work on these ones at the moment. I'll throw these in as well, and we'll chuck a couple of these in too. So we'll work with these for now, and uh, we can always go ahead and add the other ones another time. Now we're going to set up both an atlas and an auto tile for this. So the atlas is pretty much done. I just need to erase that there. And we're good to go. So we're going to go select and, uh, no. oh no, what are we going to do? Physics layers, we need a physics layer, a terrain set, uh, terrains, add an element. Um, I'll call this grass and we're going to make this something bright. This won't show up in the, in the game, by the way. It's just, it's just so that we can see it on here. Okay, and then we'll go to paint. We're going to select terrains, terrain set zero, grass, and we'll just add, not all of them, just these ones here. I didn't actually mean to add that one, so I'm not going to connect it in any way. So what we're going to do, uh, there should be another block somewhere. Uh, but there isn't, so it's fine. What we're going to do is connect these. So these ones here are going to be the side. And so if we're thinking of how these connect together, that can connect to that, that can connect to that. What it's going to limit it to is, oops, big chunky areas. But we're also going to make it so that we can just manually do it as well. Um, now these here, I'm going to also completely fill in. What it means is that um, Godo, when it does one of these blocks, it'll randomly pick from one of these. So we can go to the tile map and we can start to uh, paint with terrains, grass. So if I come up here and I paint a block over here. Okay, so we can, we can paint that without a problem. And we can, we can go on and kind of do this. It's, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit fiddly. You see that middle part has the kind of random uh, bits on there. And we can fill it out. Now, if I want to, for example, uh, just get a tile and put it on here. I can do that. I can just get it and put it right on there. So I can manually change it. If I want to put this grass 
right here. I can do that. Do that. Okay, so if we grab our player, we bring it over here, and we delete this. We don't need this anymore. And we hit play. We'll turn off collision shapes. And we hit play. You would hope that we stand on that platform, but instead we fall all the way through. So what we need to do is go back into our tile map. We need to play around with the tile set. Select. And go down to physics. Physics layer one. Now, I'm pretty sure you can just hit, you can click on these blocks here, you can, and hit F. F will just fill it. So it just puts it on there. Now, I don't want any, I don't want any, anything on that one, okay? But I'm also going to go to this one and fill it. And I'm going to go to these and fill them as well. But this one I'm going to change. I can actually turn on some snapping here. Some snap, grid snap. You can make the grid a little bit bigger, but I'm not worried about that here. So I'm just going to snap that to there. And then if I click on this one and hit F, I can do the same thing and snap that in. I don't know if there is a way to copy it. There might be, if I hold Shift and select a couple of them, hit F, will that work? Again, it does, it changes all of them. So I can select multiple. Uh, this one here, F and F. So now what I can do is I go back to my tile map. Let's say I want to put this block right here. And I want to have that coming out there. Or maybe that there and that there. So I can hit play now. He stands on it. You can see it's got collision shapes. Stands on that there. Now what if we want to have a jump through platform? We can do that as well. We can go to the tile set. And I'm going to set these ones down here. So I'm going to set up. We'll select these three. Oops. Uh, select. Hold on. Now, yeah, why is that not working? Oh, I've got a racer selected. That one, that one, and that one. So these three, I'm going to make these a jump through platform. So when I go to select here, I'm going to select this one. Hit F. This one, F, F. I'll select all three with shift click. And this will... Now, I've got to find out where this was. It was in one of these. Polygon zero, one way. There we go. It is one way, and you can see that the physics is down. I'm not sure if you can change that. Maybe two. No, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know how to change that. Um, if you wanted to have it so you couldn't jump through it, but you could fall through it. Um, not sure how to do that, but maybe you can, but it looks like this is a one way. So if I put this into the world, I go to tile map and I select this, one of these here, put a couple of these across, and then one of those on the end. Run. Got the double jump. I can jump through it and stand on top. And of course we can turn off those collision shapes finally. And do that. Now, one last thing I'm going to do here is add in a camera. So I'm going to add the camera as a child of the player. I'm also going to turn the camera zoom on to three. Okay, so that's that's got it there. Camera zooms on. Um, also, the other thing I'm going to do with the camera is turn on position smoothing enabled and a limit. Now, the limit for this, I think it's the limit. It must be the limit, sure. No, it's not the limit. It is. Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I thought it was under position smoothing. Oh, here it is. It's drag. I'm going to turn these margins uh, down to zero. And hit play. Okay, what you'll see, you'll see how the camera has this kind of little interpolation between it. So as I run towards the thing, the camera kind of lags behind the player a bit. It gives it a nice sense of movement uh, without the without the position smoothing on. It's just kind of stuck to the player. So it's up to you. It's up to you whichever one you want. Um, I like the position smoothing. And what this left margin does, if I turn that back up, 
uh, right margin, etc. Um, it's kind of how close the player can get to the to the side of the screen before the camera starts to change. So if we turn it down to zero, um, I always think that looks best, at least with the settings that I'm using here. You can turn it up, you can play around with those settings. Um, Let's see what happens if I jump off. Does the camera, the camera does not keep up. Uh, you can turn the speed of it up and the camera will be able to keep up uh, with the, the speed of the player falling. Basically the cam, the, the, the character is moving at 9.8 pixels per second, according to gravity, um, but the camera's only moving at five. So if we change that to 10 and run it, I'm not actually sure what will happen. Still looks pretty good. If I jump off, uh, the player probably accelerating at 9.8 pixels per second. I don't think there's a maximum fall speed. So he is uh, just constantly leaving uh, or accelerating beyond uh, that 9.8 meters per second. Sorry, 9.8 pixels per second. All right, so that's the end of this video. Next video, we are going to have a look at, um, I've forgotten, it's on my list, but it'll be the next one. You'll see the title in there so you can enjoy that when it comes out.